what God is doing in the nation of Kenya is that God is guarding his territories. God is guarding his territories. And uh, number two, <clears throat> God is following up his word to perform it in the nation. We are coming from a case scenario where people took the glory of God and they lived as if his non-existence, you know, he does not exist anymore. And people uh, took the counsel of God, the word of God for granted. People have killed, people have, in, in the morning today, the Lord woke me up with the, inno the voice of the many innocent, I mean, uh, the much innocent blood that is crying for justice in the nation of Kenya, in villages, in family levels, the much innocent blood that is crying in the nation of Kenya. Uh, you know, laying a demand for justice. The many people in prison, many people in cells who are demanding for justice, that have been denied justice. Now, when justice is deprived from the people who are supposed to get it, to a point of whether it's a non who has eliminated somebody to take their property or their land, whichever, whoever, I'm talking about the much blood that is crying, demanding for justice in the nation of Kenya. Some people have consulted demons and, uh, you know, even killed their own people on road carnages, you know, on road accidents. The much blood that is innocent blood that is crying in the atmosphere of the nation of Kenya, demanding for blood. I mean, demanding for justice. This will not go any punished. God woke me up on the fourth day of May with that, the cry of the innocent blood. People who are, have been you know, denied their justice in many quarters where corruption and money has bought, it, you know, has bought justice out. God is here to serve justice. So what is happening to the nation of Kenya? And because the unusual, I mean, uh, the, the extraordinary, and the, let me call it that way because that's what I'm hearing, very unusual, you know, very unusual things, many things behind the carpet. Actually, the Lord of God, where I am seated, is calling them strange fires, have been allowed access in the nation of Kenya. Very strange fires. Very strange fire. A nation that God has an agenda with. In whichever level, people have been given position of influence. They have diverted from the cause. You know, how many people out there, even where this word is going to be heard, I have consulted powers of darkness. How many people are using marine spirits? How many people are in devil worship in free motion and in all those places? Yet they are covering up in the name of the Lord. How many people are doing businesses? Yet they are big tithers in houses of God. Yet they know they are doing businesses using other powers. Because people, you know, the way God is being represented in Kenya from so many quarters is as if he's, you know, he's a confused God. He's God who does not know what, you know, what he's doing or where he's coming from. It's as if it is God 
you know, who seems not to be sure of what is supposed to be done. It, that's why you are seeing even animals, a male to male, they are not going that direction, but human beings have gone that direction. They are even now creating, I mean, not creating, I say not creating, they are even making, you know, they are with their own wisdom. Somebody, uh, you know, is buying a woman who is artificially made, a man who is artificially made, and gadgets and all that, because people want to present as if God does not know what he's doing, and he will not be silent. You not be silent about that. So, God, the unusual, the evil, the wickedness, the strange fires that have been allowed access in a nation that God has an agenda with. God is a jealous God. He is sovereign. He is almighty. He is all-sufficient God. You know, people are even creating this you, you you have seen it it is in public domain a certain nation you know i mean not creating you know making their own things you know countering the creation of god and the seasons of god people are even making their own rain making their own sun making their own whatever they want to make it's as if god is non-existent it's as if he made a brother when you know during creation so the the strange fires that have been allowed in the nation of Kenya, either by a chief or from whichever corner. Let me tell you, the nation of Kenya, God will not just watch. God will not just be silent. And because of that, this is what God told me in the morning. Because of these strange fires, the unusual that has been allowed in the nation, that is, you know, that is demonic and a lot of evil, a lot of evil the nation of Kenya will experience very unusual calamities that have never been experienced before all the years in the nation of Kenya. Very unusual calamities, very unusual happening, very extraordinary happenings that are, some of them are going to be so scary. They are going to be very, very scary. Because let me tell you, if God is speaking through one thing and the nation does not want to hear and people are just taking the name of the Lord for granted, you know, one time God took me through a process of something and when I was asking God, Father, what are you doing? He told me I wanted to open your eyes to see the evil that is happening, you know, in the church, particularly on the altars, the evil, the high level of immorality, demonic operations. That, has, that are happening, covered up in the church, covered up in the name of the Lord, covered up in the name of the Lord. Let me tell you, in other nations, people will go scotch-free when do, they do these things, but in the nation of Kenya, it will not be so. It will not be so. So God is going to fix his own order by all means. I'm saying by all means. And let the nation of Kenya know from the government going down, going town going town let me tell you even to the village elders anybody who has been given a position of authority by god and you know you are evil you know you have you have messed up whether it is an uncle or an aunt who has been given a position of authority over orphans and you know the needy whatever all over this one is not even about the government it's not about, about even like the governor it's about the eyes of god watching over each one of us as an individual in the nation and is serving his you know his own justice personally you know to each one of us personally serving his own justice to each one of us personally and let me tell you it is going to be so so scary the immorality in high places men with influence sleeping with boys right left and center the same case applies to women it's as if god made a mistake when he was creating a man for a woman and a woman for a man you know that way for intimacy and now we have countered that and because people think they have the money the bible says the love of money is the root cause of all evil our boys out there and the young young people even old people you know and uh, you even old women it is the order of the day people have gone outside this is what you know attracted the love of god in sodom and gomorrah and let me tell you, each one of us will drink from the cup that they have prepared for in the presence of God. Each one of us will pay for their own sins. Each one of us will pay for their own sins. 
So God is clear. I mean, this is what you are seeing. And I've been telling the nation of Kenya, you have not seen yet. You have not seen yet. Because at the end of the day, you know, God is speaking through these and through this, and people are not understanding. People don't want to understand. That's why you see people are even starting to take the glory of God. It's because we did. That's why God has done. It's because we did. You know, that's why you hear people say God helps those who help themselves. We don't have any help of ourselves. We don't even the body we have, everything, even the breath we have to say that you have helped yourself. It's a breath of God. You have not you have nothing to be proud of. It is by the masses of God. Hallelujah. So I pray for my nation. I pray for my nation. There is a call of genuine repentance. Anybody calling the name of the Lord and covering up as a servant of God, and you know you have diverted from the scriptures, you have got the direction of the, of the evil. Let me tell you, those things you have done in a secret, a time has come and it is now in the nation of Kenya. The exposures that you are going to see, some of them, and I've been preparing the church, some of the exposures you are going to see are, so, are going to be so scary. They are going to be so scary. For you people who hold on men, instead of holding on, on the God of the men, you are going to be so scared to an extent that if you don't have spiritual stamina and spiritual muscles, you may never love God again. If you are holding on men, because some of you are just following us, you are just following us without testing the spirit. And you should be, you, if you are not in the spirit, you should be able to know when any one of us has diverted from the cause. That does not mean you are judgmental. It's about the security and, and, and guarding your spiritual, your, your spiritual gates. Hallelujah. So and let me tell you, every knee shall bow. It, is, it will be a personal, you know, you give your own personal account. It will be a personal deal, very, very personal deal. So amid this what is happening in the nation of Kenya, because you have not seen it. You have not seen yet. We prepared you and we spoke by the grace of God. 2024 in the nation of Kenya will not be losing. And everything is trickling down from the mountain of governors. It's about everything. It's about, you know, the mountain of governors. And I told you the other day, the mountain of governors has so many other, you know, it's not even about the president. It's not even, not even about his deputy. It's about the mountain of governors. And the mountain of governors is trickling in even to the, to the you know, to the, to the village elders. It is, you know, it is going down. You know, that, you know, Kydrich, you know, it is going down, trickling down, even to the people who are, you know, who are serving here, even the village elders, it is going down, touching even, uh, you know, the people who are connected to uh, these people, the, the people who are reading them, even in the ways of the Lord. It is about it, the whole thing. It is the whole thing, the whole component, the whole component, you know, the judges and the, the whole component that is connected to anything, governors. In the nation, whether it is a prefect in a school, you know, anything governing, hallelujah. So let me tell you, let me tell you, let me tell you, God is clearing way for his preordained agenda and purpose in the nation of Kenya amidst what is happening. And that's why I'm requesting the lemons of God's people. Let us concentrate right. Let us focus right. The move of God in the nation of Kenya is going to be bathed by the nobodies, the people who do not look like, by the way the people who are genuinely praying for the nation are not even known. They even don't have titles, they have no names, they have, no, they, they have no audience, they have nothing. The people who are genuinely standing in the gap for the nation, the people who God is using even for the, to usher in the move of God in the nation of Kenya have no title, they have no names, they have nothing. Hallelujah. They even have no much audience. They are there. They are, there are some of them are in, even in interior villages. And what you're going to see after this shakeup in the nation of Kenya, you're going to see the positioning of the light priesthood in the nation. And let me tell you, in the, in the midst of the shakeup you're seeing and what you're about to see because you have not seen yet, as God is clearing way for his purposes in the country, you are going to see God clear whatever and whoever whatever and whoever and and touching all the seven mountains you know of influence and after that god will now position the nation back to the track that he preordained for her so that his name may be glorified what other nations you know what could be easily allowed in other nations in the nation of kenya the jealous god will not just sit in heaven and allow it he's going to counter that he's going to you know to touch Whatever is supposed to be touched, whatever is supposed to be uprooted, and God is at work. Amidst what is happening in the nation of Kenya, God is at work. God is at work. So I want, you know, Jesus is talking to the disciples in Matthew 24 and Luke chapter 21. He's telling them, when you see this, when you see these things, you know, when you see them, let your heart not be troubled. So I speak to the lemnants of God's people in the nation of Kenya. 
let every everybody preacher even everybody let them fornicate let them drink let them do whatever let them consult demons kindly for you purpose in your heart like daniel i will not defile myself it's a choice that you make in this season in the name of jesus hallelujah so amidst what is happening in the nation of kenya god is at work